the CB750 is faster, it's got more torque, it's got electronic rider aids, it's got all kinds of extra stuff, and it's $300 less than the MT-07. So why don't you get the CB750? I'm gonna tell you why you should get the MT-07 still over the CB750. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you wanna get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe, all of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. As I've told you in the previous videos, I've had 12 motorcycles, all different types of motorcycles, man. And this is number two most fun out of all those 12 bikes. The YZ450FX Custom Supermoto is my number one favorite bike. And I'm never getting rid of that bike. And honestly, I'm never getting rid of this bike. You know why, guys? This bike is amazing, it's fun, sounds awesome, it's torquey, it's everything. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why Honda has created this new CB750 to compete with the MT-07 because this is so popular. This is America's favorite motorcycle, guys. For all riders, beginners, seasoned riders, everybody. This is one of the most fun, torquey, little street motorcycles out here on the street. It's awesome. But I'm going to tell you in this video, guys, why... I still won't get the CB750 versus the MT-07. The CB750, even though it's $300 less, it comes with, you know, a ride-by-wire throttle, which the MT-07 has the good old cable throttle and cable clutch. Um, so you're getting a lot more features with the CB750 because of the ride-by-wire throttle. In order to get the electronic rider package, where it's got the engine braking, it's uh, levels, it's got the rider modes, it's got, uh, you know, all the electronic sweet traction control, everything is because of ride-by-wire throttle. When you have the cable throttle, you don't get all those electronic rider aids. Honestly, that was the number one reason why I love the MT-07 because you can buy this brand new bike and it still has the old cable throttle and clutch that I love. For the CB750, it's got 90 horsepower versus 75 horsepower for this MT-07. It's got 55 pounds-feet of torque versus 50 pounds-feet of torque for this MT-07. So it's got more top-end uh, horsepower, it's got more torque and but yet it's 13 pounds heavier and it has a top speed of 127 miles per hour versus 133 miles per hour for the mt07 to me that doesn't make sense it, it has more horsepower like 15 more horsepower five more found pounds feet of torque but yet it has a slower top end speed <laughs> that, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me and it's 13 pounds heavier hondas are always going you're never going to get the lightest weight bike out of a honda unless it's one of their super bikes or something but otherwise they don't they don't put much into making their regular street bikes lighter weight and, uh, and, and a lot of the honda bikes are very vanilla that's one reason why i stopped buying hondas as you guys know, I had a CBR 600 double R that I loved, and that was an awesome bike, and still an awesome bike. The CBR 1000 double R, which is an awesome bike, and, and uh, I love that bike. But the newer bikes that they've come out with, they're really, there's nothing really special. So everybody's hyped up about this new Hornet CB750 because it's got more power than the uh, MTL, more torque and power than the MTL7. This new engine is supposed to be torque rich, like the MTL7. They, they made this bike to compete with the MTL7, mind you. Um, and they, like I said, they put the ride-by-wire throttles, got the whole electronic suite of package, everything for $300 less. It seems like a no-brainer to get the CB750, right? MCN Motorcycle News, which is a highly respected motorcycle journalist, reviewed both bikes, and they actually scored the Hornet better than the MT-07 in nearly every category except handling. They make great bikes. They're very reliable, high-quality bikes. Don't get me wrong, the Hondas are, are cool bikes. Okay, I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying that they're not the most exciting motorcycles. And It's a brand-new engine. Um, honestly, I don't like messing with first-gen motorcycles either because that's a brand new engine So, you know, it's gonna need some recall work, but maybe not Honda's usually really good 
about eliminating problems you know on their bike they do a lot of research and development but overall I have to say I think the MTL 7 is still the bike to get man because it doesn't have the the ride by wire throttle I just don't like ride by wire throttles I don't know there's some are better than others but I love the cable clutch and throttle it's just they're predictable and just sometimes you get hesitation when you crank the throttle on a, a ride by wire throttle that I don't like and um, and it's just it feels artificial to me and I don't need traction control rider raids braking engine braking levels and all that crap uh, now engine braking levels could be useful I guess maybe at the track if you want to cut it off or something but for the street uh, you want to use engine braking because that kind of helps reduce wear on your, your your brake pads and traction control use your throttle hand for traction control man <laughs> the best attribute for the mtl7 is just how comfortable and awesome this bike is to ride you have room at the seat the peg position is perfect i'm six foot tall on this small bike and i love riding this bike i owned an mtl9 previous to this bike which is po more powerful than this mtl7 but this MTL7 is so much more enjoyable to ride. The ride quality, not just the power, but the comfort level is amazing. This new CB750 may beat it in every category, but even MCN Motorcycle News rated handling better on this bike. I still would get the MTL, recommend the MTL7, guys. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, baby, feel that torque on that MT-07 feeling proper. Man. Leave a comment below on what you guys think. Will you be buying that new Honda Hornet 750 or what, man? Um, and why would you buy it? Do you think it looks better than the MT-07? I don't know. I don't think so. I, it's got kind of that generic look that they kind of copied from the, uh, the KTM, the Dukes. It's got that kind of Duke look to it. And um, it looks okay. But, uh, you know, I, I don't care about looks that much. Is when I get throw my leg over the bike and I rip the throttle, that's all that matters to me, man. And uh, I tell you, this bike delivers the performance I like, man. It's a great city urban bike. And it's good on the highway. It's not bad. I tell you, you, you mod this bike and uh, it is nice, man. See, in fourth gear, you're good. Look at Boom. Look at that. See that? It's got pull, fourth gear on the highway here, man. Zero to 100. This bike is cool and sound with an awesome soundtrack. Too, make sure to hit thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos come out. But I release videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.